<laughs> yeah. So interesting. Do you think that I'm a marketer? I think we're, we, if we're entrepreneurs, we're all marketers, right? There's a famous book, there's a famous book written, all marketers are liars. For example, when you see a McDonald's commercial, that's not a hamburger, right? It's a piece of foam and uh, right. in this and that. Do you think that marketing is at all to blame for some of the disconnect between actual deliverables and perceived value? Sure. If, if I were to lay the blame on anyone, it would be a whole company problem when the value sh falls short. Marketing might get the blame for inflating something, but also marketing might be told something that's not true. And so they're going to go market the heck out of it. And then they go market something that's not true. We're seeing, for example, a famous car company right now is in a lot of hot water because it turns out that maybe the range they claimed for their batteries isn't what actually is happening. So there's lawsuits even. And imagine you're in that famous car company and you're on the marketing team and the engineering team walks up to you and says, hey, we're going to tell you that our range is X. And the marketing team says, great, I'm going to blow that message out. We got the best range. I'm going to do my thing. So the question would be, is marketing contributing to the problem? I don't know. Maybe sometimes, sure, but maybe not. So it's definitely a company problem. It's not clear if it's marketing source. Good point. 